Hello lovely people, this is Siddiq from Mission Canada. So if you are first time in our channel, please do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell button on your right. If you are watching this video, please stop right there and go to particular this video because that video is the first video and this video is the continuation of that video, okay? That video was about the overview of the PEI PNP and in this particular video, as we mentioned earlier, we are going to give you the whole idea about the point system and then you can submit your UI profile based on if you are eligible for PEI PNP or not. So we have a screen recorded version so that you can follow that step by step and you can submit your expression of interest without any hassle okay so stay tuned with us till the last second of the video so that's the key if you are rushing yourself my friend trust me you will miss some important point i can assure you now if you can remember in the previous video we told you even under the pei express entry stream there are two subdivisions one is with job offer and another is without job offer that means the point system has also something to do with that okay so we are just giving you all the references from PEI PNP website which is this and then you can just go from there okay there are total six major areas to distribute the entire hundred points of PEI PNP which I am giving you in this particular table so you can just check the table and see how your point would be looking like then I will be describing all the sectors a little bit more this is the table for age now you can select your own age ranking and you know what point you belong to this table is for the language ability please be noted that if you have the language ability for both the language that means English and French you will be getting another extra 10 points on top of everything this is the point great for education now here very important thing is that you must have to ensure that your ECA is already done that means your educational report is already at your hand because sometimes there are cases you are saying that okay I have completed master's degree but unfortunately according to ECA report you got only bachelor degree okay so in that case your point will be marked according to bachelor's degree not to your original master's degree okay so you'll have to be very very careful about that because sometimes i find out some of my viewers who all have claimed okay according to my calculation system i found this is my total point but at the end of the day it ended up like this but see You'll have to go with the ECA report. It's not your original educational report, okay? So please be careful on that. And if by any chance, if you're thinking uh, you didn't do the ECA yet and you do not know how to do that, so please check out our these videos. We have shared so many insights and also we have given some tips how to conduct the ECA. So hopefully, those videos are going to be immensely helpful if you are doing the ECA by yourself and we strongly recommend you do the ECA by yourself even the entire application you must not and you should not go to any agent I believe because the Canada government website is so easy and so well explained that means if you want to study by yourself you must be enough to complete your whole application process so this is the table for the work experience this work experience means actually from any part of the globe it doesn't have to be from Prince Edward Island or from any part of Canada but if you see this table they are meaning to any work experience particularly in Canada and obviously within Prince Edward Island or you might have a valid job offer which is definitely LMIA supported and if you do not know what LMIA stands for so that means labor market impact assessment it's just not that okay I'm your friend and I'm just sending the offer letter to you and you can claim the point for that no even if I'm your friend I'm a relative 
I have to process your job offer through LMIA. Out of this table, I should tell you one point. ECA and foreign qualification recognition are not the same. Regulated occupations require applicants to be registered with a regulatory authority and have a license or certificate to work, which will add you the point of FQR. If you do not know what are the regulated professions, please go through this short screen recorded video. And if you need, you can just play and pause and check what are the occupations they are calling as regulated profession if by any chance your profession is matching with any of them then you must uh, need uh, the license then there are some points for adaptability which is mostly related to the connection with you or your spouse to canada so if you have or if you're lucky enough to have any of those you can claim the point but remember even if you have more than one or even all of them you can claim maximum 15 points out of the total points you can always check your status of your expression of interest through the pei ui portal uh, and if you want to submit your ui please follow the rest part of this video where as i'm saying where i have tried to record the video for you uh, so that you can just follow step by step before i hang up I need to say if you have any question related to this video or any video or any step of this application process please do not forget to leave your question in the video comment I will try to help as best as I can and if you want you can also join and ask in our Facebook group you can follow us on our Instagram you can also check our blog see the articles over there and also contact to me if you need so this is it for the day my friend so i'm leaving you now and hopefully you will be watching the rest of the video for the eui submission system so see you someday in canada if you are coming bye bye